speed is very important in table tennis, I would say. Between my opponent and me hitting the shot, it's probably not even one second, maybe even less. It can change like that, stay in the moment, play point by point. Try to be prepared for anything. You know, you're going to have ups and downs in sport and it's how you deal with that that makes you the athlete that you are. See, I'm 18 years old and I play table tennis. I'm Liam Pitchford and I'm on Team GB's 2024 Paris team. I first got into the sport when I was around five years old. I think I was committed at quite a young age. Since five, I've been practicing pretty much every day and started, you know, becoming better and better. I got into table tennis about nine years old and there was a table tennis club going on at lunchtime and I just went along with two friends and just instantly got kind of hooked. I think around 12 I probably realised that I wanted to be a professional. Yeah, I just loved the environment around sort of the clubs that I was playing at. I just chose table tennis and guess I made the right choice, I think. <laughs> Table tennis speed is so, so important. We have to be very fast on our feet and hands a lot. And it's, yeah, definitely one of the biggest part of the games. You need the speed in your legs, you need the speed in your hands. Otherwise, you're, you're not getting to the ball, that's for sure. So a day we train around five hours. We do normally two sessions, two and a half hours, and then sometimes we do work outside of the of the hall, so in the gym or cardio and things like this. We do a lot of multi-ball training where the coach will just basically just fire balls at you and you've just got to be quick and react and, and try and get as many as you can. So. That's the main way to we would practice it. You know, I probably still do that pretty much every day. You know, if we're doing a morning session, I'll do probably two footwork exercises to start, like each 10 minutes uh, per exercise, and then then I'll move on to serve and receive. Again, just working on that. How I think people are going to play against me. I know I've got a pretty good idea now how people are going to want to play against me. So I need to work on that a lot and. Um, and then in the afternoon, it's more probably a couple of exercises serve and receive, and then I'll do some multi-ball. And then just some small things if I feel like something didn't go as well in practice, I'll try and work on that and, and improve it. A few minutes before a match, I'll probably do some warm-ups and try and be in the right mental space for it. Kind of try to be prepared for anything and Probably a few seconds before, a minute before, I like to think about the tactics. In the seconds leading up, I'm just trying to make myself, trying to get myself calm, as calm as possible. Obviously, everyone's going to be nervous. Like it's, I think it's about controlling those nerves as best you can. Not being too nervous that you can't do anything. And, you know, to the other extreme where you're just that excited that you're trying to get everything out and you're not really thinking about how you're playing. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to, trying to keep calm and you know, I'll have spoken to my coach the night before and gone through the tactics that we think I need to do and I'll just be focusing on getting those right at the start of the match. I think what's going through my mind in a match definitely changes. Um, depends on the situation, really. If it's quite a close match, then for me, I would try to kind of relax a little bit and take the nerves off and just try and play my game. Of course, if I'm ahead, then I'll try to focus more and try to keep ahead. I think the mental speed part of it is probably the toughest, I would say. I think you can naturally practice, you know, being quick on your feet or having quick hands. You can almost work on that easier, whereas, especially in table tennis, some people have that almost natural, quick decision making. I'll probably yeah, I like to think I, I have that, that, you know, there's some players that are more methodical, you know, they'll almost pre-plan sort of the point and 
and hopefully the ball goes to the right position basically but yeah you've just got to be switched on to for everything all the time. I think table tennis is a lot about watching what your opponent's going to do and kind of also analysing where they might hit the ball where you might hit it and yeah definitely a lot of speed and also mental quickness as well. I'm probably telling myself to stay calm you know there's times in my career where I've not handled that as well as I could have. I've done a lot of work on just trying to stay in the moment, play point by point. You know, it's table tennis, it can change like that. So it's important just to focus on the next point, one's gone, and not let, you know, lose two, three, four in a row. I was like trying to get back into it and as soon as possible. Obviously, I think it's changed me as a, as a person to have had that and, you know, just to be able to say, you know, I've been to an Olympics, I've competed at an Olympics, hopefully one day win a medal at an Olympics. It's definitely going to feel super, super exciting to be out there and I'm sure there's a massive crowd. So I think for me to try and get my emotions good and my mental space in the right place to play my best. Right now for me, whether I win or lose, I'm in a place where I know that I've done everything I can. I am ready. I am an Olympian. You just watched How to Train Like an Olympian on Independent TV. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>